did you watch Samaritan? Not yet. I'm gonna the get there. Sylvester um, Stallone on uh, what not yet. On? Amazon. Yeah, it's on Amazon not yet? Prime. I haven't seen it yet. It's from the guy that made uh, Overlord, and I'm and it had me interested. I mean, it's got Sylvester Stallone, so I'm like, cool. I'll check it out. Yeah, yeah. it's. I, I it's not a, a very <laughs> it's not a very recommendable movie from me to be honest. I watched it the other night. I was gonna do a review, just ran out of time, and now I think the the window for that's kind of passed. So I just thought I'd talk about it on here. Um, it's a movie that you feel like you've seen a million times before. It's also a movie filled with half baked ideas. It feels like it's trying to go for an unbreakable feel, but it doesn't fully know what it wants to be in that regard that would that's be my what i heard but, but the it, it's it's limited on action it doesn't really get actiony until the end of the movie the action with sylvester stallone is good like I, I i enjoyed the action when it came on screen and the relationship he has with the kid is fine like it's not amazing it, it's it's pretty standard the way it's done um but yeah, overall it was it was pretty mediocre in my opinion. And the villain, don't even, I don't even know what the villain's motivation was. Don't even get me started on that. It was it was just out of nowhere. <laughs> it just came out of nowhere. So yep. as you can tell, I'm recommending you watch Samaritan tonight. <laughs> of all the hundreds <laughs> of movies you have to choose from, no, it, it's it, it's honestly I don't think it was a bad movie, but it was like oh this is like the definition of a streaming movie. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's that's what I've been hearing. So I mean, I'll give it a try. Just uh, I'll keep my expectations really low. That's all I'm gonna do. Yeah, I think that's the best way to go into it. And you might end up really, really liking it. I I was just kind of like, eh, it was it was fine. I was we'll never see. bored. I'll give it that. Like I, I wasn't bored, and it, it, it's definitely low budget. There's only like four real locations that they use, and you really start to notice it as the movie goes on. That it's like, oh, they are using these four sets, these four locations just over and over. <laughs> so, yep. but it, it's it's done pretty well for, well, it, it's done decently well for what it is. 